Early on in the fight, Fury knew he had to stay on the outside against his opponent. And how did he do this? By landing powerful long straight punches and then taking a step back to get out of close range against his shorter opponent. After dodging the punch, White here had the opportunity to land a strong punch against his opponent by bringing his lead leg towards the lead leg of Fury's, bringing him closer to him. Instead, White missed out on this opportunity. Maybe landing these early punches would have gained Fury's respect. White, on the other hand, knew body punches were the only way to slow down his opponent, who is much taller and quicker than him. Early on, he was landing powerful punches to the body, but they were not as effective due to him being off balance when throwing these punches. After White threw a jab to Fury's body, look at that blue circle. This blue circle shows the position of Fury's hands. For some bizarre reason, he used both his hands to block that body punch. Now look at that green arrow. That shows an opening of Fury's face where White could have landed a punch. But again, White did not make the most out of this opportunity. White here shows an example of why fainting is effective in the ring. Look at that green circle and that blue arrow. These are openings White created by fainting a jab to the body of his opponent. By doing this, Fury slightly pushed his hands out to White in anticipation to a body punch. However, he left two openings and White had the opportunity to either land a body punch or a face punch. Or what did White do? He landed a very effective right hand to the body of his opponent. The only way White was going to make Fury fight his fight is if he fights dirty against him and that is what he was doing which was working because Fury was getting ever so slightly frustrated with his opponent's dirty tactics when they were clinching on the inside. Fury was constantly clinching however, his shorter opponent was getting really frustrated because he wasn't able to land his effective short powerful punches due to Fury constantly clinching when he was either on the ropes or after landing a strong combination on the inside. In this clip there's going to be a green arrow. This green arrow shows that as White came onto the inside against Fury, he left a huge gap in between his guard which resulted in him having no protection against Fury. Due to this, Fury was able to land a vicious uppercut onto the face of White which resulted in Fury knocking White out cold. White did try to get up, that shows the heart of a warrior. However, due to him stumbling around and not knowing where he is, the referee had to stop this fight. A brilliant call by the referee. 